French Danish physicist died from politeness. Nobody likes to be rude, but some take it much further than others. I'm an etiquette consultant after all, I know this. And going to great lengths to avoid annoying others is top. But Tuco Brache, however, went a step too far and ultimately died because he did not want to breach etiquette. Yes, that is how you pronounce his name, Tuco Brache. It's Danish. And for those of you who don't know, I actually used to live in Denmark. Personally, and as an etiquette consultant, I believe you should stand up for yourself when boundaries have crossed. On October 13th, 1601, Tuko Baja attended a banquet. During the meal, he found himself in need of the toilet, but as to leave the table, would have been rude, he stayed. During the meal, he found himself in need of the toilet, but to leave from the table would have been rude, so instead he stayed. On returning home, he found himself no longer able to urinate. Please excuse the TMI. This then likely caused his bladder to burst, killing him. Bracha was gifted an island and titles by the Danish king. I'm assuming King Christian III because of the time he ruled. And on this island, he built a castle dedicated to the arts and sciences in which he manufactured a great many scientific instruments and it became a hub of learning and experimentation. He created catalogs of the stars and huge sets of data that were referred to for years to come in the blooming scientific revolution. His work became a standard for empiricism and precise objective scientific measurement. Beyond this, he also discovered supernovas and was able to prove that the stars are much farther away from Earth than was previously thought. By all accounts, Tuko Brache was a character, tales of his antics could fill volumes of their own, and his revelry was renowned. In his university days, he quarreled with another student, supposedly over a mathematical formula, which resulted in a sword duel, sword duel between the two of them. He was scarred on the forehead and lost the end of his nose, and he wore a fake brass nose for the remainder of his life. Pretty cool guy. <laughs> Sign up to my newsletter linked below so you can always stay updated and never miss a single post. It's going to be linked below. Give this a like, subscribe, and click the bell, and I will see you later.